Hi, today we're going to be taking an unboxing review of Gundam Build Divers Break. Gundam Shining Break. It's Art's mobile suit, high grade 1144 scale. So, yeah, so apparently this Gundam was in the actual Gundam Build Divers series for like three seconds. But this one is coming from their subline, which as we know from Bandai, a lot of their Gundam series has been doing sub stories. Like Gundam Thunderbolt, I believe that was like a whole sub story. And then it was bumped into like two movies. But what I mean like sub stories, I mean like actual sub sub stories. Like from Gundam Seed or maybe it was Seed Destiny, there was the Stray Blue, which about Mm, three minutes one time, and it kind of taught but a little bit about Gundam Astray Blue. It just very touched on that, and then there was the other one where it was Astray Wad, where it just touched on the Gundam Astray Wad a little bit. Like, hey, it's a Gundam, its name is Astray, it's a Wad version. Hey, this other one, it's still Astray, but it's called Blue version. You know? And then we seen that with the IBO, Ironborn Orphans, where there was the, I can't remember the name of the gun, but there was a couple of them that did that. Again, it was Gundam, I want to say Seed, or perhaps it was Seed Destiny, where we saw the Stargazer, which actually looked like a pretty fantastic Gundam that had to be pirated by two pirates at pretty much all times. But again, a lot of these fantastic Gundam, we get the markets and we're like, what episode did that Gundam was in? And you're like, oh wait, that's why. Like, it was only in Japan only. We never got that episode of America. Because it wasn't like a full line. It was a sub line. Same thing that to do with this. Now I do hope that Bandai does listen to us here in America. And do the sub line. As you know, a full line. Like you know how we had Gundam Bill Fighters. Gundam Bill Fight Tri Fighters. Gundam Build Divers. I hope that the continues be like, okay, Gundam Build Breaker. Well, Gundam Build Diver Breaker goes into its sub series of the Build Divers, but a Breaker series. You know, like that. That would be kind of awesome. Because, I mean, to me personally, Gundam Build Fight, it just didn't seem that great. Gonna build fight. Tri Fighters was an excellent one. I felt a little bit more that each character in the story had, you know, a little bit more of a background. The story was a little more fleshed out and polished and stuff. And they even gave you actual real gun plot tips. Like, hey, if you're using a file, don't go back and forth with the file. Like, you know, how you've seen people do it in the prison movies. Like, when they're like, hey, there's a file in the cake. And they take the file and they rub it back and forth against the bars. They're like, no, you don't do that. That's going to, you know, destroy your gun to model kit. And they told you, like, pan line tips. And then, I don't know why, it was like episode 20 or 23, like, very close to the last couple episodes of the Gundam Build tri Fire series, that they told you, hey, this is a side cutter. This is how you hold it. This is what it's used for. Which didn't make sense because, you know, the first... Like, 20 episodes, they were already building guns, so why, you know, go into the details of a side cutter and stuff? And the guy was like, yeah, you gotta put a top coat on to make them look nice. You gotta use pan liners. Don't just use scissors. Use, like, pan liner markers and pens and stuff. Which, I mean, that was kind of great. And gonna build divers, yeah, it was okay-ish. Not as great as gonna build tri fire, but definitely Probably better than the original Gundam Build. And if you think about it, there was kind of in the series four Gundam Build series. There was Gundam Beginning G, which all I know is it's on YouTube and it's about one episode, it's about maybe 10 minutes at tops for the match time length. I don't know if they continue on with that or not, because it's like, you know, all the other Gundam series. Very scarce stuff. Gonna build fires. I didn't care too much about that one that much. Gonna build tri fires was pretty awesome. Gonna build divers, not as great as tri fires, but 
it's definitely better than Gundam Build Fighters. So I do hope that in the Gundam Build line, they do continue on with their subline of the Breakers. Gundam Build Die Breakers. Because if you look at the symbol, we still have the symbol for Gundam Build Fight here. But over here we got this new symbol for the Breaker series. I did pick this one up at GameStop for $21.99. I know a lot of this thing that you hear on YouTube by other YouTube gaming channels is like, oh yeah, GameStop to go out of business. Ooh, GameStop to go out of business. I talked to a couple different employees from a couple different GameStops and they're like, no, we're not going out of business. It's and he said, no, we're not getting more customers. Thinking that, you know, we're going out of business so they could get stuff a little bit cheaper in the clearance aisle and stuff. No, we're not getting less customers. So, like, same average amount of customers, you know, we're not going out of business. Which, to be honest, I believe that they are not going out of business. That they're still going to be in business. Because, I mean, look at how much new stuff that they got in in the last couple of months. SH Fitter Arts Fitter, Ninjoid Fitters, like the Tunnel Wind Waker characters. They're selling Gundams now. They got Pokemon deals like almost every month. I like Pokemon cards and stuff in the store. So, I mean, to me, I think that they're still going strong. That, you know, they're not going to close down. Because, I mean, where would people really go to get their games? You know, you got Walmart, Target. Other stores, you got the internet, like Best Buy, uh, Amazon, eBay, and stuff like that. But, you know, for pre-orders, it's probably going to be like Amazon. And people's like, nah, I'm not going to just pre-order on Amazon. Or, you, of course, you had your digital pre-orders, but then you don't get any physical stuff with it, like patches or display fairs to put on your shelves and stuff, so yeah, I don't think GameStop is actually going to go out of business. But yeah, anyway, getting back to this Gundam, I know. So, yeah. It kind of has a different modes. It's supposed to be kind of loosely based on Gundam G-Fight, the Shining Gundam. Yeah. It does have one large beam saber and one short beam saber. It has a beam rifle, a shield, and it can transform into like this flight mode. It does have, you know, open and closed hands, but well, not open and closed, but holding hands and closed fists. And it's like transformation mode, they call it the uh, Burka or Burker. I don't know, it's kind of stupid. And transformation game. If you had the AZ Gundam from Gundam Build Fight, Tri Fighters, Iron War, it's kind of like the AZ Gundam for the transformation of how you transform it from, hey, it's a Gundam into, hey, it's kind of like a ship thing. I really think they should have made like, the Zeta Gundam, Double Zeta Gundam, even like the Zeta Gundam that was in Gundam Build Fight, Tri Fighters. They should have done something like that. But yeah, anyway. It's number 22 in the lineup. And apparently this guy, his name is Art. He built this Shining Gundam, didn't like it. He can't do the Shining Fiener special technique. He could do some other techniques. He used the Boy Decal Stitcher, you know, in the Build Diver series. He found it was a no-no, it was a bad thing. He was a hacker, he was cheating. He was like, nah, I'm not going to do that anymore. So then he decided to become a good guy, I guess. Which, if they ever do release it in the uh, Breaker series, you know, for the Bill Diver Breaker series, that would be pretty awesome because there's supposed to be another character called. What's his name here? Give me a second. Zen. So there's another character called Zen. So I guess Zen and Art, they work together. Bad guys cheating with you know the break decal stitchers, and you know he was like, no, I'm gonna be a good guy. The other guy was like, I'm gonna be a bad guy, and blah 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 blah, you know, so on and so forth. But apparently, we 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 know that much. All we know is, hey, maybe they're gonna come with the other Gundam, the Zen Gundam, or 
I don't think it's called Zen Gun, but you know, the other character that Zen it controls the other Gundam, because you know, we know R controls the Shine and Break Gundam and stuff. Yeah. So, wonders, we get a couple bags in here. Three bit bags and a small bags, so. Yeah. We get this one, it has kind of like two wonders in there. Another two wonders and very minimal stifters. Uh, we get two wonders in this. No, three wonders in this bag. And then. Two wonders and our poly caps in here. And there is something special that I will tell you about this. You do get some parts to build a full chest, a full head, a certain beam rifle, and almost a full shield. It is a full shield, but it doesn't have the wings to transform like how the other shield is going to do for the transformation gear for you know the whole fight ship mode. So it's it's a shield, but the Sun Shield doesn't actually have, you know, the wings, which was kind of stupid on their part. Stickers is only going to be for one head. Stickers are only going to be for one rifle, but you can't complete two complete rifles, you know, the instructions are saying, go with one rifle. That's what the official instructions are saying, one rifle. But you can make two rifles, you can make almost a bus of the Gundam, a certain bus of the Gundam. Just minus the eye stickers, almost a complete shield minus you know the wing bits. So, yeah. Love how they're getting the new instructions for us in English. Like, this is where you put a sticker on. Don't cut this part. Cut this part. Do the same for the other one because you're gonna make two you know feet and stuff. So this 